Welcome to Perfect Guardian and I am going to tell you about why do people smoke. The entire smoking population would emphasize with Mark Tavin once he once said, giving up smoking is the easiest thing in the world. I know because I have done it thousands of times. In fact, scientists have revealed that cigarettes are possibly more addictive than alcohol and even heroin. It is no big revelation that smoking causes lung cancer and several diseases that eventually lead to death. However, despite innumerable warnings on cigarette packs, advertisements and newspapers, smokers just never think of snubbing the butt. Many believe that smoking offers more psychological pressure than psychological gratification. Smokers complain of getting nicotine rush from smoking and suffer from terrible withdrawal symptoms on every attempt to quit. They break the habit only to get sucked into all over again. Most of the time, we double the craving. Thus, it can be said that smoking is one of those vices to have passed on for centuries and centuries now. No doubt, awareness has brought down a number of smokers over the years. But it continues to be looming threat till date. Thanks to a large population of troubled souls who just cannot give up. This brings us to one obvious question. Why do people smoke in the first place? Now I am going to tell you. First thing is pure pressure. They say that there aren't many people who start smoking after the age of 18. This leaves us with one palpable implication. Pure pressure is indeed a major trap that lures an unfathomable amount of te teenagers into the social gaffy that is smoking. Either they light a cigarette just to fit into the cooler crowd or to get noticed. Those with low self-esteem try to renovate the image by adding a carrier stick to the hand. Besides, health is not much of priority for a teenager unless he or she plans on making it big as a professional player. Nonetheless, peer pressure doesn't occur only in schools and colleges, but also in office environments. Many a times, people who had not tried lighting a butt in the early years of life, of life become chain smokers by the time they reach 30. All thanks to the office environment and bad company. Now, cure for stress and boredom. A cigarette contains over 2000 toxic compounds. According to many, the combination is oh so good. It relaxes them, de-stresses them. Almost every smoker heaves a deep sigh of relief along with a large puff of smoke emanating from his or her lips. For some, it calms their nerves, while for others, it pumps up their confidence. The moment we inhale the smoke through our lungs, the nicotine gets absorbed into our bloodstream and reaches our brain in about 10 seconds. The positive effects are reduced irritability, enhanced sense of control and improved confidence. However, what the smokers fail to understand is that the effects are short-lived and remain only till the butt remains lighted. Alternatively, many people nonchalantly puff on the cigarette and pipes because they are bored and highly unoccupied. Yes, smoking pacifies an idle mind but kills the body in the long run. Another thing is curiosity. They have seen it in movies. They have seen it on the streets. They have probably even seen their own parents huff and puff in their college photos. What is the fuss all about? Why does the whole world fancy fumes from burning twigs rolled in papers? It becomes vexing. You too want to experience the pleasure and see what it is like to have a smoldering effect inside and all around you. And the rest, as they say, is history. What starts as an experiment evolves into an almost invincible addiction. Though smoking is prohibited for kids below 18 years in most countries, who in the world cares to follow the rule when there is curiosity to satiate? Frotting these rules gives kids immeasurable thrills which, in turn, traps them and makes smoking a part of the habit. Now the weight factor. 
smoking is known to inhibit appetite whether it is psychological or factual it has been observed that those who abruptly snub the butt on weight rapidly hence all the weight conscious men and women petrified of gaining excess pounds admonish the mere option of quitting the butt however what they fail to realize is when one quits smoking energy levels shoots up this gives one the ability to exercise and be in shape unfortunately lazy net trumps and so does smoking now complimentary a drinker is much more susceptible to lighting up a cigarette or craving for one after guzzling down two bottles of beer alcohol and cigarettes go hand in hand a drag of a lit cigarette in a state of inebriation is said to be one of the best feelings in the world as such for non smokers who are but alcoholics smoke starts as a complementary activity which later on become a habit and an addiction much more intense than drinking so thank you please subscribe to my channel perfect guardian and give your comments